Hi, welcome to Aggie 13 Newsroom. Uh, today is November 22nd, 2016. I'm Natalie Flavel. And I'm Pell Walker. Today we'll be talking on a macroeconomic topic involving international trade with China. Um, stay tuned because we, were, we are going to talk about absolute and comparative advantage. And then later on we're going to talk with Melissa. She's in China and she's going to tell us about their, why they are so successful in their trade. So as we discuss, discuss trade, our trade deficit uh, with China is $201.6 billion. The definition of trade deficit is the amount by which the cost of a country's imports exceeds the value of its exports. Since 2004, the United States trade deficit has increased. Because we are talking about comparative and absolute advantage today, we want to know the definitions of each of those. Um, when a country has the absolute advantage, it means that they are able to produce their goods and services at a, with fewer inputs. Um, and then when a country has the comparative advantage, it means that they can produce their goods and services with a, with a lower opportunity cost. Um, so we can see by those definitions that the U.S. has the absolute advantage and we can prove, because we can produce more goods and services with the same amount of resources and then China has that comparative advantage because they can produce their goods and services at a lower opportunity cost. And with that, we'll now be hearing from Melissa, who is in China, and she will inform us and instruct us on why China is so successful in competitive advantage while she talks about um, specialization. Thank you, Natalie and Tell. I am Melissa Lewis, and I am currently in Beijing, China. Specialization is a method of production where a business or economy focuses on the production of a limited scope of products or services to gain greater degrees of production efficiency. China mainly specializes in furniture, toys, and clothing, while the U.S. specializes in vehicles, aircrafts, and machinery. China has the comparative advantage because they are able to produce things at a lower opportunity cost thanks to child labor and cheap labor in general. Back to you, Natalie. Thank you, Melissa. Um, now we can see that the United States and China continue to help each other out by specializing in different areas of trade. Um, we couldn't have the absolute advantage without China having the comparative advantage. Thank you for watching Aggie 13 News. Stay tuned for the next microeconomic topic. We'll see you next time. Hey, I'm Natalie. I was a source locator and I wrote my part of the script. I'm Lewis and I wrote my part of the script and was the video editor. Hi, I'm Tell Walker. I wrote my part of the script and was a source locator.